End of life is on the mind of Pope Francis, who is speaking at a euthanasia conference at the Vatican. Monsignor Robert Vitillo, a global health expert, joins us from Rome. Welcome back to the program, Monsignor. Thank you. It's good to be back. How do you interpret what the Pope said today about the end of the life cycle and the way it's linked to democracy? Well, I don't feel worthy of interpreting the Pope's statement, but as I understand the Pope's statement, he's it restated the traditional teaching of the Church about end of life, and especially that teaching that was well articulated by Pope Pius XII. And that is that we should never uh, in any way uh, speed up the natural process of death, but we also should be sensitive to the fact that uh, people are mortal and we want to make sure that we don't subject them to any uh, extraordinary suffering or pain. And also that when the, uh, when the, the cycle of death is, is very evident, then we also uh, don't need to use extraordinary means. But I did not in any way understand him to say that, uh, uh, that it was licit or uh, correct to speed up death. You have a meeting at the Vatican tomorrow with the heads of the pharmaceutical companies to increase research on medicine for children living with HIV AIDS. Why are you focusing on children and AIDS tomorrow? Well, there's a very simple reason, and, and actually, uh, Cardinal Turkson, this is the third uh, high-level dialogue with the CEOs of pharmaceutical and diagnostic companies that he has convened at the Vatican. The reason is that much more progress has been made in developing the medicines that help adults living with HIV and AIDS, uh, but uh, we still have a big problem with the having the right formulations, child-friendly formulations for the children. Also, we find that the uh, most of the children diagnosed with HIV are not diagnosed until they're five years of age, but half of the children living with HIV who have no treatment die before they're two years of old. So we want to make sure that we could keep children alive. We have no cure for HIV, but we can keep them alive with the treatment, and then they can then grow to be adults and to contribute to the future of society. Monsignor Robert Vitillo, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thank you.